Hey y'all, it's Brandon. And it is pretty much spring here in Tennessee. I'm sure we're gonna have some more cold snap, but we've got so much going on this time of year. Uh, and one of the biggest chores is the meat birds. We get between 70 and 80 Cornish Rock straight run chickens every year. And we, we buy them in intervals. We, we buy like 12 a week for several weeks or uh, 16 a week, whatever, whatever we can do. And that way, when it's time to slaughter them uh, at six to seven weeks, we don't have to kill 76 chickens in a day. So uh, we're, we're, we're starting that process. And I just went and picked up some chicks today that were delivered to the farm supply store today. And I started videoing from the store to where I put them in the chicken house. And what my plan is, is with these 12 chicks, I'm gonna go from there, from get them from the store, and I'm gonna put a video out every week on Wednesday uh, showing you how, how fast they grow until it's time to process these birds. And then we're gonna go through the, the processing. But this is how, how we do it and, and raise our meat birds. Uh, we figure that uh, each bird is about a meal and a half. Some of them we end up two meals. It just depends on how we prepare the bird. Uh, we also um, will make broth from the uh, from them and uh, and everything. But this is I'm, like I said. I'm just going to show you our process and how we go through it. Now, the birds that we get, uh, we get uh, Cornish rocks, and these are these are the most popular. Um, meat birds in the United States. If you've eaten chicken in the last 50 years in the States, came from the store, it's probably a Cornish rock. And they're a white Cornish bred with a white Plymouth rock. And they're, from hatching to, to processing, you're looking at six to seven weeks. And their the feathers don't come all the way in. Their, their, their breasts are so big that they fall over. And they get, they kind of get gross. They get to where they just sit by the feeder and eat. I mean, they're just eating machines. They grow fast. They are specifically bred for meat. And they're the most economic birds we can get for it. Um, so that's that's the birds that we get for meat. They're not, uh, you, you hear these people, you know, the, the hormones and this and the hormones and that. This is just the way they're bred. It's not. Nobody's out there. I guarantee I'm not out there pumping hormones into these things. So uh, I'm going to start off with getting them and then uh, get them in the chicken house. So about, usually about half of them are roosters are better. He said it ain't seven weeks or so and he can keep the tender they eat. I turned the heat lamps on before I left to prepare the trough we keep them in. And according to the thermometer, it's 90 degrees where it is, which is between the heat lamps. So it's probably 95 that that's what the chicks need for the first week anyway. Everywhere else. Now, when you uh, first bring them in, they need water immediately but no food so these little we got them out there We use one of these small waters for the first uh, week or so, and then we go to a bigger water. We do have to keep an eye on it to make sure it has water in it. You can see the difference in these brand new ones. And these over here are, and some neighbors over there jamming out. But these chicks are about a week and a half. These are brand new, so they grow awful quick, but 
I will come back and give them some uh, starter food in uh, about an hour. Okay, now that these little jokers have been in here an hour, putting the food in. They don't need a big feeder yet. Uh, the feed that uh, we give them when they're little chicks like this, it's a starter mix. Um, I don't have the tag on it. I will have a tag by the time I do the next video. But we feed them the starter from a uh, local feed mill, Edwards Feed in Lebanon, Tennessee. And uh, the starter is medicated. Um, and this is... It's, it's got all the good stuff for the uh, the chicks in it and so we'll keep them on that for a couple of weeks so I will show you when we switch to uh, grower okay that's uh, that's got them in there and uh, I'll keep an eye on them all this week my plan is to do about shoot about 15 seconds of video every day so you can see and and we can keep up with the progression of these birds you saw from the older birds we had in there what difference uh, just a week makes um, on another note when you're getting birds make sure if they've got birds that they've had for a week get those birds because that's a week you don't have to feed them so it's that much cheaper but we we figured it out last year and I think we end up having after paying for the birds, birds are $1.99 each, uh, and paying for feed for the, the span of their life, we end up having about $5 per bird in there. So, it's not bad. But anyway, uh, Wednesday will be the next uh, meat bird chicken installment. So, uh, so look for it. Uh, if you have any questions uh, or, or comments, please leave them in the comments below and if you like the video hit the like button if you'd like to see more videos like this or uh all the other million things we do around here please subscribe to the channel so anyway y'all behave yourselves